It now seems certain that there are going to be a myriad of legal issues arising out of Michael Jackson's sudden death. The courts will eventually have to deal with the issues of his family and his finances. Meanwhile, new pictures of Jackson were released taken days before he died as he rehearsed for his comeback London tour. Here's our Law and Justice correspondent, Jim Avila, in Los Angeles. New pictures released this afternoon showing an active, dancing Michael Jackson rehearsing for his concert tour two nights before his heart stopped. Adding to the mystery of why the 50-year-old singer died so suddenly, a new account from the attorney of Jackson's doctor about those last moments, who says his client happened on Jackson unconscious with a faint pulse, never shot him with Demerol, and desperately tried to save his life. Throughout the period of time he was, he was administering CPR, Michael Jackson was alive, or at least he had a pulse. Uh, until emergency personnel got there. Also late this afternoon, coroner's investigators and a photographer arrived at the house where Michael Jackson died and collected what they said was new evidence, medication. The Jackson family has its doubts about the coroner's investigation, and today Joe Jackson said he will wait for results of their private autopsy before burying his son. Funeral arrangements on hold. The legal battles well underway. Jackson family matriarch Catherine today granted temporary custody of her son Michael's three children. Her flamboyant husband Joe emphatically telling reporters Michael's two sons and one daughter should be with their grandparents. We're going to take care of them and give them the education that they're supposed to have. Besides custody of the children, the Jackson family attorneys filed papers asking to manage Michael Jackson's estate. The documents say Katherine Jackson wants the assets for the exclusive use of the three children. It's the first salvo in what could be a huge custody case. The law says the surviving parent, even if divorced, has the strongest case for custody. That would be Debbie Rowe, the birth mother who was paid by Michael Jackson to drop out of the children's lives. By court order, she has been notified of Katherine Jackson's custody attempt. And now the court waits to see if she makes a claim for the kids and the money. Jim Avila, ABC News, Los Angeles.